Hello, sweeties. Oh, pull my chair out here. Oh. Hi. How are you? I've backed myself into a corner. Now, I did this with the best of intentions, but now I have to do my end of it. <laughs> so... I was chatting in comments um, with Tracy over at um, Hattie's, Hattie's Attic. I'll put her channel in the description. Please go check her out. She does some great stuff. Um, her and her little dog, Rue. Um, but she was showing a, uh, was doing a vlog the other day and was showing a, a small piece of um, art that she'd made on, on canvas. Uh, I think it was for her aunt or cousin or somebody. And it was a gorgeous piece. But she was saying she didn't get video of it because she didn't know if it would work out or turn out or whatever. And it was like, oh my god. And this is funny because somebody told me the same thing. It's like, every time you do art, you need to get video of it. And I was like, uh, okay, whatever. But it's true. In doing so, it doesn't matter if the art turns out or not. You're still capturing the process and the steps that you took to get there, which helps um, your, your learning um, Or if there's something that you made that one time or tried that one time you liked but you can't remember how to do it, you can always go back because you now have video of it. But I challenged her in, in trying to encourage her to, to just do. Be brave and just do. I offered up I would be brave also and try and practice my word of the year, which is courage, and attempt blogging or, or vlogging. She's going to help me with my blog also. <laughs> Because I need a, a boot up my butt for that. Um, so, yeah. In order to help her be brave and do her art, then um, I'm going to attempt the occasional vlog throughout February. It won't be an everyday thing or anything like that. Um, I like the ones she's doing now where she checks in throughout the week. And then she just puts that up um, once a week. Those are cool. I quite enjoy those. But it's like you get to hang out with people, you know? So I figured I'll be brave and give it a go. Um, yeah, so I don't... I cannot believe I'm even attempting such a thing. But we're going to roll with it. I don't even know what to chat about. This is why I'm always doing art things. Uh, I, I don't know. But I've got some stuff. We went grocery shopping. And I picked up, I think we've got more art supplies than groceries today, but um, look, I found upholstery needles. These are great big huge needles I use for making dollies, um, or used to before I lost them all, so the last two dollies that I just made um, took forever because I didn't have the, I was using the needle that's like yay big. How they got finished I don't know. Um, I was trying to find also some of the round elastic cord in the really pretty colors. Walmart didn't have any. Um, I will have to go to Hobby Lobby at some point, I guess, and see, but I need this like right now. But what I'm going to do is um, test a piece of this actually while we're sitting here. Just a little bit. Um, I'm working on the Shiny Designs creative team. Uh, it's a pop-up project for us. It's um, a peacock journal set. Uh, I'm having, oh my god, the best time with. But I needed an elastic and what I'm going to do is put this little chunk in my watered down acrylic paint. I'm just going to stuff that in there and I will fish it out later. I'll test that piece before I make any more and if it works out alright I'll do the rest tomorrow but I'll, I've got videos coming for that. Um, so yes I have elastic cord but I've been busy making um, painty papers for the cover 
of this journal and I had extra paint so I'm working on splattery painty papers. I got a huge bottle of glue so I can do more acrylic pours. And actually all that's open. I had to get some more glue sticks. I love this glue. Love it. So I'll just break into these while we're here. But yeah, since I'm going to do the uh, attempt <laughs> attempt the vlogging thing um, let me know if you guys have any questions uh, I will do my best to answer them there's a whole lot I don't know but um, yeah if you have any questions hit me up um, let me know it's a question for the vlog and um, I will collect those and sit down and answer them in a vlog Normally I save the packaging from these, but um, I'm just not in the mood. I have three, four boxes of packaging. It was so weird. I put the trash out the other day, and the trash can wasn't full. I and mean, we've got one of those great big wheelie bins, you know. And it's like, man, we don't, we don't use a lot of trash. And then it dawned on me. It's because I save it so I can paint on it. The only problem is I haven't done any painting on it for quite some time. I usually do it as needed though, um, to make journal covers or whatever. Oh, what else did I get? Oh, oh. I was looking for something pretty and peacock related for this journal. I don't know if you guys can see. I don't know if the colors will show up on that or not. It's a 36 inch long pendant necklace. I might be able to repurpose the necklace part, but I wanted the, the peacock because I want to make a fancy charm for it. And it's so pretty. I don't know what they used inside the um, feathers. Well, actually, it looks more. Oh, looks like a diamond cut plasticky bit, maybe. With um, uh, a pearly, glittery background. But it's gotten the, the greens, the pearl white, um, a purple, and the bottom ones are black. But yeah, I think that's going to make an epic charm. And I can't tell you what I'm doing with the journal yet, but I'm going to do something fun got some new pens. I don't know, what's, what do you guys use? What's your favorite pen, like for day-to-day -day use? I'm not talking about, you know, the fancy lettering or, or whatever, but you are just got to have a pen, got to write right now. What's your go-to pen? I use the Bic Crystal. I always get a pack of black, and they're called Extra Bold. Writes with vividness and flair. <laughs> but it's the assorted inks. And see? My green, my purple, my pink, my light blue. Love them. Mm. Love them. So let me um, ask you to open them all now. Might as well, I need them. got. Um, I still haven't started. I will be though. Um, actually, I may be starting in March the way I'm going. No, maybe the end of February. Um, Kylie Coon Studios. Um, Kylie's doing the... Oh, I need these. I saved these. They're already pre-scored. I don't know if you can see... Um, these make great itty bitty journals. Um, it's just the, the backer packaging to keep the pens to stay in the bag. So yeah, keep those. Uh, but yeah, Kylie Koo 
from Kylie Koo Studios is doing the, um, it's not the power pack, that's on Crafting Mamas. Positivity deck, um, which is very similar to the power pack, but hers is um, a year long project. Um, but I needed, she had a, and I can't, couldn't find the small one. This one will work though. I hate when they put stickers on covers. Ugh. Don't you hate that? <laughs> Pet peeves, right? Okay. Ooh. Get off the book. Okay. Mm. See, that counts as something you'd normally throw out, huh? Oh, no. Never mind. Never mind. Check it out. I want to stick everything in my scavenger hunt book. Like, everything. But, I found, because I always try and get composition notebooks, and I prefer, I don't know why, the 88 cent ones. I don't know what it is about them. If There's something about them that's vastly different than the 40 cent ones. Um, I don't know if they're actually the same company or not. Doesn't even matter, but these are sturdier and take way more of a whooping than the 40 cent ones. But I did find, oh, there's another sticker. I'm that person that when you get a new appliance, I have to peel the protective coating sticker thing off. It gives me great satisfaction. It does. Okay. Kylie has a small journal that she keeps with her uh, positivity deck. And what she's doing, um, because she's broken it down into the four suits, um, each suit represents a different theme. Oh, and I haven't written them all down yet. I need to. Um, I want to say B still is the first one. Maybe it's slow down. Something I'm not good at anyway. Um, which is why I need to do, it, it's a genius idea. Um, but she's got a small journal that she can reference each card that she does. She does one a week, but um, she can journal in there a, a little bit what that week's prompt or um, message means to her, um, which I thought was just beautiful, absolutely beautiful. So I wanted to make sure I did in fact have a journal to go with the cards, but now that I do, I can finish these projects, move my room around, and then I will be starting uh, the positivity deck. I will also link uh, Kylie Koo Studios um, site, or site, channel. <laughs> Um, she's amazing too. You've got to check her out. If you don't know her already, you need to check her out. Her art is gorgeous. Her voice is, it's just lovely. It just, you, you just feel serene. It's wonderful. Okay, so, notebooks. Because you guys know I love my notebooks, right? Yeah. Oh my god, I just had an idea for one of these. <laughs> yeah, I did. I also got... Oh, okay, I started with with these. The Wilton Gel Food Colors. This is what I use. Oh. And that's why I'm out. I have to get some more. But I make my own ink sprays. The, the gel, this is, I call them gel ink sprays. Um, I mix, break that down with warm water um, and add some alcohol to it and shake the crap out of it and these colors are gorgeous. Um, the four pack at Walmart is like two dollars and something. There is a 12 pack. Um, they're not the gel colors though. Well, technically they are. They're, they're a little thicker than that, but the pigments on Wilton food colors, and I used to decorate cakes, is, this is my go-to. Um, these colors, though... I, let's see. Hang on. Aha! 
always got one on hand. These colors are so vibrant. This is a coffee filter I did and I need to do a bunch more because this is the last one I have. But look at these colors. Of course my lighting's off because it's dark wee hours of the morning. But look at these. They're so beautiful and vibrant and just fabulous. I love them. Um, but I keep getting asked if I'll show how, how I do that. So now I finally got, got the inks. But, or the food color. But, I keep meaning to try, um, let me put all my pens away here. Wait, one of them's going, that one. Okay. I keep meaning to try um, for my juicy box. I want to know. Oh, those are not all going to fit in there. Dang it. Mm. Nope. Okay. I'll just have to make two. I want to try the Brit fabric dies. So I picked up two because, again, they're like $2 and something. Um, and these are in, ironically, I thought, in um, the laundry detergent aisle at Walmart. But these you can water down or you, you thin down considerably. Um, and these are eight fluid ounces for a couple bucks. So by the time you get these all thinned down, and I'm going to have to play with, um, you know, how much dye to how much water for the color I want. But for juicy books, oh, so yeah, I'm going to start with the composition notebook and we'll go from there. I will do a video on that um, since you guys seem to really enjoy those as much as I do. Yay! Okay. What else did, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I picked up another glitter. It's really super fine and I love it. The only part that upsets me Look how much, this is a huge divot in the bottom of the packaging. I don't know why they do that, I just... Make a smaller box if you need to, I don't know. But can you imagine how much trouble I'd get in if I had that much extra glitter? But it's extra fine, because you guys know I like my glitter glue. I like to make it myself so I can make it extra blingy. Oh my god, I just dumped paint. <gasps> I did, oh my gosh. Special much? Actually, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna do this. Uh-huh. I did, I just got paint everywhere. <sighs> Welcome to my world. Oh, these baby wipes are ridiculous. I did, look. Stuck my elbow in paint. Knocked it completely over. Oh, good lord. Alright, let me undo that while we're at it. Wow, that was spectacular. So, these might just have to be blue. Oh, no, they, they're unscathed. Woo -hoo. I was happy because they, they had my uh, paper doilies in. They don't always carry them, which I find distressing. I can't believe I just did... Well, no, that's not true. I can believe I just did that. Because it's way too early in the morning for this nonsense. Oh, see, I filled up that packet. Look. <laughs> Wow. If you're going to do something, do it spectacularly. Okay, these ones are going to have to be blue, pretty sure. Yeah. Dang it. Actually, that's not too terrible. I can live with that. <sighs> oh, I'm just going to chuck that out. I don't think I even want to mess with that. Ew. 
No, oh, maybe. I don't know. Stick it over there to dry. I don't want the plastic though. Coming in. Not okay. And the big one got it everywhere. <laughs> oh, shoot. You know what? That's all on the outside. Sweet. Well, that was exciting. Oh, it's a little bit on the inside. Man. found they had the multi-size pad, which is awesome. I never have these when I need them. Twelve inch, what is that? Eight inch diameter, ten inch diameter, twelve inch. Yeah. Okay, so I'm just going to set that over there to dry. No, I'm not. That's going to fall down again. <sighs> Thankfully, I have paper on my table. So that just soaked up all my watered down paint. Mostly. Good thing I'll be doing painty papers tomorrow when I get up again. Or later today. I don't even know. For those of you that don't sleep, do you count... The hours that you're still up until you go to bed, is that still one day for you? That's how I tend to, to count days. Like today, like right now is, is technically Saturday. But, um, my brain's still on Friday night, you know? Okay, we'll just set that off to the side there. That was wonderful. Always exciting. Let's see if I can't make some more mess, shall we? I also found this. It's a giant tablecloth. Special occasion table cover. One ply tissue, one ply poly. I'm curious to know. One, how this actually feels, and two, will it work for a journal cover? Let's see. Oh, the outside does feel papery. It is. It's um, like a funky paper on the top, and then the back is like um, that fused. What is that? The fabric fused stuff, but more plasticky. Wow, this thing's huge. It should last forever. Forever. Oh, you can peel it off. Oh. I didn't even consider that. Oh, it's on now. Because <laughs> now it's just tissue paper. It's really thick woven tissue paper. Oh, I'm happy. I ain't so happy. Oh yeah, we're gonna play with that. Mm-hmm. But yeah, it's a red gingham with little flowers on it. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? So pretty. Okay. My table, you guys. Oh. Okay. I ought to be blogging, or at least researching. I'm thinking about going back to Blogspot, but I still want to keep my um, domain name for It's Nana's Place. 
We'll see. We'll see. I also need to be working on uh, what I want to do for either starting an Etsy store or just direct buy stuff. And I need to get off my bunnies and put together Happy Mail. It threw me off having the car broken, but now the mister has it all fixed and, and um, we're trying to catch up on you know grocery shopping and errands and whatnot. Okay. I don't know what else to chat with you guys about really. Um, it's very weird doing it this way for me. Neighbors are coming and going. At almost four in the morning. Mm. Let's see. Oh, I also need to put Lucy back together. Um, I'm not even going to mess with that stack. That's also on tomorrow's agenda. But uh, I definitely want to thin down those wider books that I had in the back there and um, just use. I'm putting February in the last half of January's book because I didn't see wasting half a book. I, uh, seriously. Um, and I've changed the format a little bit as to how I'm going to um, do that because I don't need essentially a three-page spread, well, three two-page spreads uh, per week. I just, I just don't, um, at least not at the moment. Yeah, I think I'll catch up with you guys again tomorrow and I'll probably upload this, let's see, tomorrow's Saturday the 3rd today technically um, just as a first one and let me know if you guys have any questions and I'll do my best to answer them or whatever for the vlog for next weekend we'll do that on Saturdays how about that because um, I've got stuff scheduled Monday Wednesday Friday up through the 16th currently um, so yeah we might do vlog stuff on Saturday sounds like a plan Aren't you guys? I love you. Bye.